Hello, mamas. What's happening? A lot of you guys are, you know, counting down the days till school is out. Some of you today is your first day of no school. Sorry about your luck on that one. I know I'm counting down the days till school's out, but then what am I going to do with my kids after that? That's a good question. Um, anyways, I'm here today just to talk about why all mamas have adrenal fatigue. Like, why is it that, you know, all the mamas that come into Stellar, it seems like everybody's got adrenal fatigue. Well, because everybody's freaking got adrenal fatigue, okay? And I want to break it down to you, uh, just so you understand why. Um, adrenal fatigue is not a technical diagnosis, just so you know. Um, it's not a, you know, an ICD-10 condition, um, but it is something that almost all mamas suffer from and need to get supported in their body just so that they can prevent disease and inflammation from running amok in their system and improve energy and all that stuff. So why do all mamas have adrenal fatigue? Well, let's think about that, okay? So as women, we generally take on a lot of the stress of the family, right? And then on top of that, we grow humans, okay? So second we decide to grow a human, that is a huge stress in our body, okay? Cells are multiplying, you know, hormones are going crazy, you're growing a freaking human, okay? So no matter how amazing your pregnancy is, your body is under stress. Sure, it's like an amazing, wonderful stress, but it's still under stress growing a human, okay? And so our immune system is flip-flopping. Like I said, hormones are going crazy. There's all these things happening. But then, you know, there's a huge stress of delivery and having a baby. Also, for me at least, amazing experience. 22 hours of freaking stress, okay? <laughs> it was crazy um, first time around. Um, but anyways, that's a huge stress. Then you have a baby and you're not sleeping, right? And you're having to breastfeed, which is freaking really stressful. I mean, shout out to those mamas that can go on and on breastfeeding with no problems whatsoever. But for most of us, it is very stressful and um, that just contributes to that whole cycle. So then after we're done breastfeeding our babies, and they're toddlers, like we are always worried about them. It's just like another part of our brain that is just go, go, going, right? It like never shuts off. And then, you know, a couple years later, most of us are like, hey, let's do this all over again, even though our adrenals are completely jacked, right? And so then we start that whole process with even like our cup is even less full than it was when we started with the first one. And so what happens with that? I think I've talked about this before, but I'll mention it again. I think that when mom is super stressed out when she's growing a baby, um, she then is kind of robbing her baby's developing adrenal glands. And so a lot of women will say they feel amazing when they're pregnant. And it's like, oh, they're on cloud nine. I love being pregnant. I've never felt better. And then as soon as they have the baby, it's like postpartum hits them in the face and they feel awful. Well, if they've been kind of stealing baby's adrenal glands and then they give birth to that baby, then they feel awful after they have the baby because they're back to their own crappy adrenals that have no inflammatory support, they're not making hormones, they, they have no energy, all of that stuff that's related. And so um, what happens to that baby though? That mama's been stealing that baby's adrenals that whole time and they're the babies that are born that are, have more likelihood of allergies, asthma, eczema, their immune systems are shoddy, they're always getting sick. Um, because they were born with like a shoddy set already because that poor stressed out mama stole from them. So I get it. Like it's unavoidable. It's going to happen, especially when you're, you know, wanting to grow a family and not have kids a hundred years apart. I totally get it. But it's just the nature of the beast that moms are depleted. And then as we're depleted, we're going on to build more babies <laughs> and then we're even more depleted. And then we're going to have another baby and it just can wipe us out. And it's not something that you're going to just recover from boom, in a year. They say it takes two years to recover completely from having one baby. Um, actually, maybe it's three years now that I think about that. I think it's three years for your body to completely recover from the whole process of growing a human, feeding it, and recovering and being back to normal. So that, I mean, it's just rare. Our bodies are stressed out because then we've got to deal with our, you know, our husband babies and then our babies and then we're working and life is stressful. Your adrenal glands, manage stress. That's their job, right? And so if they're just wiped out from growing humans, they are not doing a great job at managing your stress. And then you're going to get more inflammation. More inflammation is going to cause weight gain. And then, you know, hormone 
irregularity and all this stuff that kind of stems just from you're not having proper adrenal function. So I think that every mama needs some sort of adrenal support. So what do you need? There's a million herbs, nutrients that are important for adrenal health. So I love muscle testing. Totally go to our YouTube channel and just check out our video on nutrition response testing if you're like, what the heck is muscle testing? But I think that we should be very specific to the individual, unique you, mama, um, to know what your body needs to help restore function and so that you can kind of, you know, get your groove back, right? And so we also have the adrenal quiz. I'm sure you've heard me talk about it a million times. Um, I'll put the link uh, down below, but taking that quiz helps you figure out where you are on the spectrum of like, dude, how jacked are my adrenals? Um, and how desperate do I need help? Um, but any way you look at it, your medical doctor, they don't know how to support your adrenals. It's not a medical condition. There's not a medication for that. So it's not their wheelhouse. It's a naturopath that you need to see. So if it's not me, go find a naturopath that can help you because I think adrenal support is super important for moms. You want to be around a long time for your kids and prevent disease. And you can do that by supporting and maintaining healthy adrenal glands. So go find a naturopath, get those adrenals supported. And so you can be a healthy grandma kicking the soccer ball around with your grandkids. Okay. That's what we want to see. Uh, stellarhw.com and hit us up on Instagram, YouTube. We've got so many videos on there. So check that out. And thanks for joining us. Talk to you later.